What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shield for the Nuzlocke. Um, today's episode we're going to be taking on the Water Gym Nessa. It's the first thing we're going to be doing and then we're going to be um, going to the second Gallimai. Um Well there's a Wingle there wishing us good luck for this Water Gym. Um, flying by there. Um, yeah we're going to be doing the Water Gym. Then we're going to be going into the second Gala Mine. Um, and hopefully we'll end things off. Um just before getting back into Motorstoke, um, Motorstoke outskirts. I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. Um, also, in the last episode, we got ourselves uh, Miss Forbidden, the Applin Pokemon, in our team. Um, so yeah, let's kick off something. Kick off now with us taking on the Water Gym. So we're gonna start off with Congo, and we're gonna try our best to do as much as we can with possible with Congo, just because I think he's our best chance we've got on doing this gym. Change into our uniform. Let's get the challenge done, underway. Gotta do the gym missions, of course, first before actually taking on the gym leader. Heal up my Pokemon. Potion there. Congo. Um, oh, I was going to do that. I was going to give him something. Uh, I was hoping. No. Oh, yeah. I need to put his PP up, don't I? And the medicine I can use to restore 10 PP a single move. Mega Drain. Okay, we're not going to use Congo for the first. We're going to use Nuts and Bolts. Because her last Pokemon is the Revolve Form of Chutley. I don't know the name of the Pokemon. But it is the Revolve Form and it is a, uh, it's a Water and Rock type. I'm just trying to think now though. Yeah, it's a water and rock type, so it's times four to grass. So we're going to try and use Congo for that bit. Um, but it is still weak against electricity. So we have got two Pokemon here that is super effective against this. we got one with the times four and one with the times two. Right, I'm actually shaking. This is actually going to be pretty tough. But we're here for the second gym. Nessa. Fingers crossed. All my buddies come out alive in this. We don't we, don't, we do not want to create that dead box. There we go. Leader Nessa. How many does she have? Yeah, she has three. Right. She started things off with the Goldeen guys. A Goldeen. Shouldn't be too much of a problem with Goldeen. Pretty simple. It's the last Pokemon she has which is um pain in the ass. That's level 22 as well, man. It's a level 22 Pokemon. Um, I'm going to start things off with Automize just to get that speed boost. Oh, man. See? Right, we've got that speed boost. Hopefully, we should go first. Okay, we're going to go for Thunder Shot. Yeah, we do. We get that first hit. Start wanted. That does nothing. That does absolute nothing. Agility. Oh no, there she's going quicker now. Ah, you bugger. Okay, let's go with the charge beam. Water pulse. Well, Goldium won't be too much of a problem, but she's going to be a problem here. Okay, we've got a special type boost. It's only in 90%. Accuracy. I'm going to go Thunder Shot because it's 100%. No, 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 no. My nuts and bolts is on 7. Oh, we're confused, guys. No, 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 no. Didn't want that. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! Get the nuts and bolts. Got the crit as well. We needed that. Ooh, nuts and bolts nearly went down. He nearly went down. We're gonna have to take him out. Congo wants to be in Bubble Beam. Get, get the water one. It's not the move I wanted. I wanted a grass move. 
Bubble Beam. A Rakuda. Right? This thing's fast and it hits hard. It's just first aid evolution evolution. So it's Goldeen. Well, we've got to switch. We can't keep him out. He's only on seven HP. Um We're gonna go cloudy with the payback. I'm hoping they're gonna hit me. For at least 50% of my HP. And the payback, if I'm correct, it should do double damage. Let me just read the description of the move. But Cloudy can take a hit. It's got a high defense stat and Aracuda is a physical attacker. So let me just check what payback actually does. The user stores power then attacks. So if the user moves after the target, this attack will be doubled. Right, okay, we're gonna go with the payback. Let's hopefully he'll hit me. Aqua Jet, right, hopefully we'll stand this. Okay, payback. No, that was wrong. I didn't do double damage at all. It's a copycat, dude. Do payback again. Oh, man. Try double kick. No, 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 no. Oh, Cloudy's low. Cloudy's low. Ah, oh, it does nothing. Right, we're not letting Cloudy go down. So we're switching here. Um, doesn't he have a quick attack? No, he doesn't know. I can't get kick ups out because... Yeah, what HP is he on? It's 23. I could get kick ups, but he's going to use a water move. He's going to take them out. We're going to use. Let's just get Chewy out. Can't have Bully going down. Not good yet again. Chewy hit. Chewy took a good hit there. Um. Let's do stockpile. Got defense up a little bit. Um, do one more stockpile and then we'll go with a hit. We did attack. Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on, Chewy. Go with a, a bite. Nice, as you can see. Good, 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 Chewie. Ooh, we still got. I could switch out, but I'm not gonna. Oh, do a switch out though. Because if I don't switch out now, I'm gonna lose a turn. Come on, Congo, it's your turn to shine. I do not want to lose Congo. Congo will be epic. When he evolves into Ludicolo, Ludicolo will be good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to Dynamics this Pokemon. Because if we don't think we Dynamics, this thing is a Water Rock type. It is, uh, it is a Jimmy Wall, that's what it's called. It is a times 4 2 Grass type moves. That's my hope. If it wasn't, we might have trouble here. I could use Fake Out. I'm just going to dynamics and use Max Growth. He is. She is going to go first. She is She is quicker. We're both level 24 as well. That is a final stage evolution. Ours is a secondary stage evolution. It's terrifying, this thing. This thing can hit hard. I'm just hoping it doesn't have any like ice moves behind its back. If it's got ice moves, then we could be done for. I'm hoping he's only got water and rock. Maybe ground, maybe. But if it's ice. Come on, Congo. She will go first. Max strike. What's this do? Is this. Oh. Play Congo. Come on. 
Lost speeds fell. That's not too much of a problem. We were slower anyway. Nice! Good hit! Good hit. That'll pull our HP up a little bit. That does heal us all though, but not too much of a fact on the no. Does pull our HP up a little bit. We'll go for another one. Max Darkness, which is a dark time move. Oh, come on, Congo, come on, Congo. Just come on, Congo. Come on. What's that? Please not quick special defense. Look at our berry there playing into play. That's fine, can use items like that. Max Overkill. Get it, yes. And there goes Janor. We've done it, guys. Whew. That was a close battle. Nearly. Nearly lost a couple of Pokemon there. But everyone prevailed. Everyone put a shift in there, apart from Miss Forbidden, of course. And Kickouts. Miss Forbidden was too weak. And we got a baby Pokemon. Um, there we go, there we have it, guys. We got our second badge. We beat Nessa. Wooly and Chewie done a good job there. I'm proud of them too. There we have it guys, we have our second badge. Let's give a big fat green tick for that water badge. Okay guys, here we are, we're just in front of the Gala Mine, number two right now. Um, just spoke to uh, the chairman there, he was just basically just congratulating me for my my second badge and just telling me about all the legendary Pokemon and the um, the dynamics and side of things what he's trying to do um, just then as well in the market I just come across a magnet which powers up electric moves so we're gonna we're gonna give that to to nuts and bolts as you can light on electric moves which is pretty cool um, yeah so let me get we want to do a level up here a little bit more it's the next gym fire in it. Um I really want to get maybe Congo up a bit more and maybe K Cups, because I think K Cups could do a bit of damage. Hey okay, guys, so we go into the gallon mines. So we can we can actually capture a Pokemon here. Um, there's a Kugunk there as well, but we can't. I'd love that to be a decent Pokemon to capture, but we can't actually capture it. We can actually capture a Pokemon in here by fishing, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone. I would like you, but I can't have you, as I can see you. Right, we're going to fish yet, and we're going to try and get our next Pokemon. This will be going in the box, though. Here we go. There's the next Pokemon. It's going to be... What's that called? A Barboach. Okay, we've got a Barboach. So we're going to capture this Barboach. Okay, I've got a Dive Ball somewhere, I think. A Net Ball. There we go. Let's check a Net Ball on this Barboach. This will be, will be going in our, in our box. There we go. We got ourselves a Barboach. In the well, he is in the team, but he'll only be coming out when we have someone who passes on. Cloud is in the headbutt. Um, hmm. Let's give it a copycat. Miss Forbidden there with the level up as well. Okay, bad boy, up water ground. That's a decent type Pokemon as well. Um like we might we might see this Pokemon later on if we do anyone passing on, but for now we're gonna give him a, a nickname, yes. And what can we call this thing? Um <clears throat> Barbo, what can we call you? We'll call him Oh, I pressed the wrong button again! in the box. 
Right, guys, I'm just gonna go and get back to the Pokemon Center dead quick. Ahem, just to change his name, and I'll be right back. I do apologize for this. I just keep pressing the wrong pissing button on the controller. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back here. Um, I just changed the name because I keep pressing the wrong button on the controllers. I keep thinking Y is where the X is, and the X is where the Y is on the Switch controller. Um, but we have given him a name. We've got Ringworm over here. Um, let's check his abilities, his moveset, etc. He is a water ground type, which is a decent Pokemon. Decent typing. Um, only downside to that is times four to grasp, but that is his only weakness. Um, he's got Anticipation as his ability. The Pokemon can sense opposing our Pokemon's dangerous moves. Okay, I'm, I don't know how that works, but it sounds decent. Stats are balanced all, all well round, to be honest. Um, okay, we've got. He's got a rest, snore, water pulse, and amnesia. Pretty decent moves to start off. But yeah, a ringworm, decent Pokemon. Um, he will be staying in our Pokedex um, for the time being. He will be there. I will rename the boxes and stuff a bit later on. Um, but these are the Pokemon we can't use. We've got given these. But yeah, we're in Galaman right now. And the first thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be taking on Bead. He's the first thing we're doing this. Let's give Chewy out with his bite. Some decent Pokemon here as well, but you just can't capture these. There's Bead. So we're avoiding all hidden po like all Pokemon we can see. <coughs> okay, Bead. Let's get going. It wasn't too much of a problem last time, but he obviously is going to get stronger every time we see him. Here we go. Bead round two. Let's be having you. Solacis. <clears throat> okay, he's a straight up wall cycle type damn trainer. And let's move with the bite. He is our level. Ooh, flinch, 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 flinch. Ah, he's not flinched. Oh, he did flinch. He did. He actually did flinch. We're going to go with another bite to finish off solid. Ugh. Of course. Of course he uses super potion. Hopefully we get that flinching again, or maybe a crit. I bite again, I bite again. Nice, let's go. Oh, Chewie's getting stronger. A little beefcake. Right, this thing is a dark and psychic, I think. So bite won't be super effective. But I know what will be. I'll tell you what. We'll get Cloudy out. I was gonna, I was gonna get out uh, kick ups there with a the double kick, but I just remembered there Cloudy also has double kick, and he could do with with the FXB. Oh, we're saying that that we psychic and dark. Will it be super effective against? Oh, that's not very. Oh, we <laughs> look, we got payback. Oh, so he is super effective against dark moves. I thought the. Whoa, that took some damage. Alright, we're gonna switch. I'm gonna switch back out there. It must be just a psychic type. I thought it was a psychic dark. I'm not 100 percent sure how what's super effective and what's not against other people other Pokemon. Oh side beam. Oh no, I'm not risking that. Okay, Chibi. <laughs> Come back out please. Um We're gonna get not very effective. We're gonna get kick ups out, nevertheless, anyway. It's actually becoming a trouble here, feed. Side beams hits hard, man. It's not too bad, not too bad. Oh, flame charge. Nice. That's actually, for a baby Pokemon, that's actually pretty tough. It's hard and its defense is pretty decent. Tatiana. Um, I'm not risking it. I'm just going to keep with kick ups in this one. I could switch and get the bite out, but I feel like he'd take me out after two hits. Speed's gradually getting up. Side beam. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, he's got one more. 
can't get which one which he's got. I haven't seen yet. A ponytail. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. A ponytail. Ponytail, I think it's a psychic fairy type Pokemon. I thought fighting moves would be super effective against it, but I think it's the other way around. Right, one more. Nice, there we have it. So, Beast actually gave us a bit of a worry there. He could have easily taken one of our Pokemon down there. Can go with the level up. He's only going to get stronger, but so are we. We haven't got a Pokemon there that's very good against Psychic types, if I'm honest. Okay, guys, um, um, I just went through that very quickly. There was just two trainers who had all Rock-type Pokemon, which was pretty pretty simple. We've just, just pulled up here, and we've got Team Yell in front of us. Um, so we're going to see what these guys want. They'll probably want a battle, a double battle. Oh, they're going to take me on individually. We'll just have to wait and see now, guys. Let's see what Team Yell wants. Blocking our way here. Excuse me, mate. We're not your mate. You're a pain in the backside. Oh, there's Hop. Looks like we're going to, we are going to do a double battle, if we can remember. Or well, I might be taking them on one by one. Let's take one together. Yeah, so we are. We're doing a double battle here. We got our rival hop helping us out here. We're gonna send out Cloudy. Oh, we both send out our oh, Wooloos. <laughs> this is a bit stronger than mine. Um, yeah, let's get. Travel out first. Nice slash. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you hitting me? Looks like we're going to switch. You get two turns on me there, hitting me twice. Alright, we are going to switch. The fact that he's probably going to hit us twice again. Um, let's get kick ups out. Just fingers crossed he don't hit me twice. I'm going to go for his Pokemon instead. Nice. Whoa! Good job. That wasn't my Rulu. <laughs> Snarl avoided. Hit me though. Hit me. What's that low in there? Special attack. Okay. Pop's taking out the first Pokemon. I think they have two each, actually. Some levels up there. Nuts and bolts want to use Discharge. Discharge. Oh, nice, nice. A lot more powerful. And that thunder shot. We're gonna keep sit that other one because it puts electric moves up. I forgot what it's called. Leopard. It's actually tougher than I thought. They're all falling their evolutions. Sun attack. That's all we're gonna do. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're really gonna be pretty useless here. There's accuracy going down two stages here. The part is out. I've got a crit there. Nice, nice, nice. Speed boost there as well. Kick up to level 27. Let's see. And. Flame charges. 
Right, this last team yell member has got still two Pokemon. Oh, might have to take out kick ups in a minute. Quit using the bloody defense girl and hit him. They should take out his Lunoon out. Whew! I wonder what his last one's gonna be. Cloudy's got a level up. Congo leveled up. Defense kill. Stop using defense kill. Well, to be fair, there's no one there to attack, so fair enough, but. Punch out. This thing can hit. I hope they should take, take him out here if one hit, maybe. No, 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 no. One. Hit hop. Tackle. A tackle. You've got a double kick there and you used a tackle. Okay, there goes Wooloo. Not our Wooloo though. It's not ours. Okay, let's finish off with the Oh crap, I put I hit the wrong person. Oh, it doesn't matter. Thank god. Another crit there. I thought it was hitting the rock like there was no one there. Doesn't really matter there though. Okay. A little bit tougher than I thought it would be, but we got through it nevertheless. There goes Team Yell for it till another day. Baby, yeah. Yeah, the team yell getting a Kadoo's face as well. I think Kadoo's going to be a test as well. I think he's going to be pretty tough. Yeah, he actually has decent. He has three Pokemon. He's actually had decent Pokemon. On Sword, Pokemon Sword, he does. I think he'll have the same on this one as well. He has a. Um, oh, what does he have? He has a Ninetales. He has an Arcanine. And he has that centipede Pokemon fire bug one and the f all for the evolution Pokemon so he's pretty tough he's not easy he is not easy in the slightest <laughs> okay here we guys we are actually a new route here now Okay, guys, but that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, so, yeah, just a quick recap of what we've just done there. We've um, took on the Water Gym. Uh, we defeated the Water Gym. We've gone through Galamine. We've met Kaboo, um, which we'll be doing on the next episode. We'll be going to Motorstoke again to take on the Fire Gym Leader. Um, and we'll also be starting off um, this episode, the next episode, with catching a Pokemon in this grassy area here. Which area will be in? And outskirts, most like outskirts. So yeah, it's a different different area. So we'll be catching a new Pokemon. Um, we did get another Pokemon earlier on in the episode. We got Ringworm there. Um, he's dying to come in, but like I said, I need one of these to die <laughs> for him to come in. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and avoid that as much as possible and keep my team that I've got. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you do enjoy the episode, uh, put a thumbs up, like the video comment subscribe and share this content if um, anyone that you would know who would enjoy this type of stuff um again guys thanks for watching and i will see you on the next episode